Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to do a transmission calibration on a Deer 670G grader. In behind the panel, behind the seat in the cab, you'll find a plug that hangs down in there, the wiring harness. In behind the heater and air conditioner controls, it just lays loose down there, it's a plug and it's got on their transmission calibration and transmission run. To calibrate the transmission, what you do is you unplug that plug and you plug it into the other one. So that plug there was in there, you take it out of there and you plug this one into there. Like that. And then you start it up and it will give you instructions on the dash as to what to do. Now you can see on the dash it says transmission calibration mode. Please set engine RPMs to 1600 to continue. So then, in this 670G, to boost the revs up, you come down here to the side and you'll see set, resume on the revs, that's your throttle. So keep flicking that up. And make sure this which is on manual and then you keep clicking that up and then you'll see up here I'm on 1500 rpm at the moment when I get to 16 I'm on 16 now ready to calibrate move please move shifter to forward gear to continue so if I put them in gear lever in the forward Now what it's doing is going to warm the transmission oil up. Transmission oil temperature too low for calibration, 30 degrees. Please wait. Into calibration mode. You just let it go through its different stages and it'll tell you when it's finished. About five minutes later and it's still going. There we are, we're at the end of the calibration. It's taken about 20, 25 minutes. And then it says to turn it off and return the bloke back to run. Okay, now after the calibration's finished, go back to these plugs. Take the calibration plug out of that one and you put the transmission run plug into back into that one and then put the dust cover back on the other one and then they go back in behind that cover Now I'm just taking it for a test drive after the calibration. You notice a big difference in the transmission shift. You can just flick between gears and it'll slowly just do a smooth shift between each gear. It's a lot better than it was before. I find I've got to do this about every 500 hours just to keep the transmission good.